Having a good time, buddy? <laughs> Let the fishy eat. He's like, no, I must get it. Let it eat. <laughs> Let it eat. Come on, be nice. Be nice puppy. I know your puppy inside. <laughs> Not a kitty. Your puppy. Good morning, waffles. Everybody's part of the Converse Club. Of course. Heck yeah. <laughs> Some more than others. <laughs> This is the first time in a very long time that I've actually used an umbrella when it's raining. I either just don't care, I have a coat on. And Converse aren't necessarily the best thing for traction on wood when it's wet. <laughs> If anybody likes books, come to the German village in Columbus. To the book, the book loft. Yes, the book loft. It's you an can awesome at least place. Spend a solid 25 minutes there, just block. Oh, around. at least, yeah. Because <laughs> we just walked in and we spent about a half hour, yeah. and we didn't really look at anything in particular. And what is also kind of funny is that you can see people sitting on chairs just reading some books. <laughs> so I wonder if they actually love because the old books to sell books, of course. Yeah. But also to promote people reading books, I guess. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I really like it. I'm not a book reader myself. But it's definitely a fun concept. Oh, yeah. I just, I, I think, I, well, I like books and I'm trying yeah. to get into them more, but I like the architecture of it too. Oh, yeah. Like just how there's so many different rooms and different themes and everything. Yeah, I mentioned that just now. Like, I really wondered how it looked with all the shell, without the shelves and the books in that place. Yeah. Before they started making it into the complex mace that it is. <laughs> oh yeah, also I lost the umbrella but then found it in 2 minutes and 32 seconds we timed me. But after an adventure in the bookstore, we're going to get some traditional German food. Where are we going, Sarah? The Hofbräuhaus. They just opened this in Columbus. So it's new for all three of us, so it's yeah. quite exciting. Yeah. And a good excuse for us to go there because we would never go there alone. <laughs> so this is crazy. The Hofbrau House has giant sorry, has giant silos of beer. Like wait until I actually get there because it's really, really cool looking actually. You know 
they're known for their beer. You know that they like beer when they have giant. How, how many gallons do you think this is? Uh, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, look, look at how much this is. I'm look at this. That's stand up, stand up there so I can get a reference. So that's the small one. Built last year. That's awesome. Man. So the host just said uh, the smaller one holds 2,500 liters and the big one holds 4,500. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of beer. That was really, really bad framing. <laughs> I was like that. That's really, really good though. I'm not doing very good at eating. I love it, it's really, really good. So Yuri, Yuri and I headed to... Welcome in my dark hole. <laughs> we headed to Meyer to get a couple things. Where are my glasses going? My glasses are upstairs. Uh, oh, another one. Uh, and we saw this thing on YouTube today, how to make like really, really cool, uh, like stylish looking glasses. Yep. Like sunglasses, and for those of you who know me, and have been watching my videos, I really, really like sunglasses. interesting sunglasses and stuff, so mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be kind of cool because I'm, I'm going to have custom sunglasses now, oh, and, it's aw and that's awesome. So yeah, I guess uh, here's how we did it. So that's, so it's been about, what, what's it been, a half hour to an yeah. hour or so? Yeah, it's good, half hour-ish. Half hour-ish, and uh, we waited for it to dry, there it is. And now what we do, we take the tongue, de dis the, the tongue, tongue depressors, depressors. Yeah. and scratch off the, uh, scratch off the paint off the lens, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes it. after that. All right, so here's the finished product of mine. <laughs> I like, I really, really like the way they came out. Uh, we, we still have to wait for it to dry completely, completely, but yeah. this is what they look like head on. I think they're really, really cool looking. And like they're really worn. Distressed. Yes, distressed, aged. all that stuff. I really, really like them. These are probably going to be my main sunglasses. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or those are going to be my fancy sunglasses. Like if I wear like a tux or something. Yep. That would be really, really cool to wear with them. So I actually did since I had a couple of cheap free ones. The only difference is that these uh, might have like a UV coating on there, so it might <laughs> mean it probably a little bit <laughs> differently for me to take it off. But I have some really mean, aggressive paint remover. Yeah. <laughs> and I. Actually, put on some what's well, navy blue, but in this house, what everything that is dark blue is called Tardis blue. <laughs> uh, so, I for those of you who don't know, who didn't come from their channel, they're super Doctor Who fans. It gets even worse. The inside of my ring uh, for Sarah actually says "my one and only companion," which is reference to people who travel with the Doctor. Doctor Who are called companions. Well, unfortunately, everyone, it's time for me to leave. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay, see ya. <laughs> sad day. Sad day? Tear no. streak. Sad moment. Sad, sad, sad moment. Tear streak.
<laughs> Sad start of the day since it's midnight. Yeah, it is. Sad streak. Keep crying. <laughs> well, maybe we will see you soon. Maybe. Like maybe. soon. Like soon. Like in less than 24 hours, maybe. So maybe you could just stay instead of leave. I would if I could. Trust me on that. I wouldn't bother with going home. Alright. But I have work tomorrow. Well, check his blog out. Link is in the description. Yes, please do it. Okay. Please do it. <sighs> well, everyone, it is time to go to bed. Well, not necessarily go to bed, but start editing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a ton of fun today. That w it was awesome today. I loved it. Um, so today's inspirational quote comes from Scott Adams. Remember, there's no such thing as a small act of kindness. Every act creates a ripple with no logical end. So with that, make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, so you can come back tomorrow and hang out. Sarah and Yuri's channel is down in the description. If you haven't subscribed to them already, go check them out. They're really, really cool people, as you saw. And I love you all, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scout!